This is my PPKS. This is actually the first handgun that I've ever bought. And today, I feel like doing something to it. I feel like making it a little, a little more fancy. So in this video, what we're gonna be doing is taking the slide off the gun, prepping it for engraving, and then doing some scroll work on this thing. And what we're gonna be using to engrave the slide is my Monport. GA60. It's a Mopa fiber laser that I just got. I've been practicing engraving on numerous things. This is a stainless nut because my slide is stainless and I wanted to practice on something similar. And I was actually able to get some pretty decent engravings in. Um, the more layers, the deeper it goes. It's just, it's all trial and error. This will be the first serious thing I've ever engraved, uh, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Now you can see they stamped. They stamped into the slide pretty deep, and if I was to use my laser to engrave this, that would just show through in the engraving. So I need to get rid of all these letters, all these words, and to do that, I'm going to chuck this thing in the mill, and I'm just going to face it. That should give me a nice, clean surface. Here we go, back from the mill, nice and clean surface that will engrave very well. You can see, you can still see the eye in interarms and the A in Alexandria, but that'll be alright. I think the laser will take care of that, you'll hardly notice it. I couldn't go any lower, you can see I started to just touch the top of the serrated part. Only took seven thousandths out, so it's not compromising much. But I think we're ready to hop on the computer and design some designs. I sent everything on over to Lightburn, and I got my my perimeter. I got that on fill, so it should cut that f those first two lines as a groove. So it'll be like a double line. So that thick line there will be raised. That'll be the original height. And then the whole background of the scroll will be engraved deep. And then after it does that, it's going to go through and add the details, which is all the yellow, in the scroll. Uh, this is like this is the first real big project that I've done with this laser, so I'm new to all of this, and it's taken me at least a week to get to this point. Trial and error, um, but we're getting somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and test engrave on a piece of aluminum just to see how it comes out before I go and throw the slide up here. I don't want to, if I have to make any changes, I want to be able to do it without ruining my slide. I love this part. So you can see I did it a few times. This one I made a mistake with the outlines. It was kind of reversed in there. This one double lined the whole thing. So <laughs> see this is why we do test runs so we don't ruin, you know, our first guns we bought. But this one this one came out real nice. Uh, in fact, I may even go over, I may do the detail lines um, a couple more times just to get it a little more deep, but it honestly looks really good once you buff it out. Yeah, I'm, I'm real happy with that. I might have to just send it. Now this is probably the most nerve wracking part and that's aligning it so what I did is I took the outline, the furthest outline of the whole thing, and I'm gonna do a light, real light burn, because the laser might look okay, but it could be off a little bit. And if I use just the tiniest bit of laser, we can uh, get that lined up real good. Yeah, 
that might be that might be okay. Yeah, I think I'd be happy with that. And the total run time for this is saying four hours. So this is gonna be a set it and let it go type of deal. Good, we're good. <laughs> While that's cut, and we're going to take a minute to talk about this machine. This is the Monport GA60. It's a 60 watt laser engraving machine. I got this machine through a sponsorship which means I can save you guys money because I have a discount code. If you guys want to check these out, there's a link in my description on my bio, Monport. Uh, the code is Rusty Van Ranch. You can save 8%. And yeah, they're, they're pretty pricey, but for the things that you can do, I, I gotta say they're worth it. If you, if you know your way around a computer, which I barely do, but apparently I can figure it out. So if I can do it, you can. Check them out. Well, now we're gonna find something else to do for the next four hours. All right, one side finished. over the polishing station and make this thing shiny. Damn, that is so cool. Not bad, not bad. The detail could have been cut a little bit deeper. I'll make some adjustments for the other side. But uh, I think that looks pretty damn good. Now let's hop on to the other side. Left side is finished, went ahead and put it all back together. This is one bitchin' PPK, that's for sure. James Bond would be proud. I really am a fan of the, the double line that I put in there. One little flaw that I've noticed uh, when I milled it, it took down this a little bit. It's not perfect. It's not as radius as it was before because I had to take a little material out, but honestly, it looks it looks really good for the first gun I've ever engraved. Now moving on, I have a few Glocks, and I happen to know that Glock frames react very well to laser engraving, so possibly some, some stippling videos in the future. We'll see. Tune in next time.